Regarding nutrition, I would say that I had a very poor nutrition diet over my training program. Um, over the summer, I just grabbed whatever I could eat. But on the days leading up, I would say I try to, you know, eat leaner. And the day of the race, I just had like two bananas. I had a bottle of Gatorade and a protein bar. And that's about it. And during the race, I just took a pack of uh, goose um, and Gatorade, like jelly shots, jelly, like uh, electrolyte things. And I just kept those in a little Ziploc pouch that I carried around my waist. My nutrition leading up to the race, um, I think pretty typical, just, I, you know, I'm a, I'm more of a Clydesdale. I probably weigh, you know, 210 pounds. So when I'm training, I, you know, I eat a lot, um, but I'm carrying a lot of weight. So as I get closer to it, I do want to shed a couple pounds. So I think I do it once again, this is just my own thing. Carrying like five to seven less pounds for a race over 26 miles really makes a difference. So I try and lose a couple pounds. Um, but you know, race day, my nutrition is definitely, um, a protein shake in the morning and I carry about four or five goos. I like those and I just try and space them out like every five miles. And that's also something to look forward to. I'm like, okay, goo. It keeps your mind occupied. It's like little goals along the way. I'm going to drink Gatorade at this one, this one, and I'm good, but I'm going to drink water here because then believe it or not, a lot of times also I would have too much sugar and get too sweet too. As much as you want that energy, I was like, you know, a kid at Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, just too much and just felt gross. So I want to make sure that I'm balancing that. And that also keeps me active and in the game too. It was like little mini goals to help me as the race goes on. Nutrition, everybody's, everybody's got a, a different way to go about this. I'll just describe what I do and, and uh, take it, take it off where it takes you. While I'm training, um, I, I generally try to kind of, I'll say, clean up, you know, like what I'm eating, right? Less sugar, less alcohol, certainly um, more, I don't know, good food as best I can find it, right? Doesn't mean I don't have a brownie or two here and there, right? But um, I do try to, to kind of uh, at least lessen kind of the, the junk food that I'm that I'm eating. Um, I switch it up to, on especially those long runs, you know, you do want to practice kind of how you're going to run a long run race day, right? So take some goos on that, you know, like eat what you're planning to eat race morning and see if it works out, right? Um, but I do switch it up. Sometimes I do a long run. And I'm like, I'm not gonna take any goose. I'm gonna see if I can get through 18 miles without that, you know, and then I kind of have that in, the, in my back pocket race day. I'm going to, I'm going to have those goose, right? I'm going to carry the uh, nutrition with me of some sort. I'm going to take some Gatorade, take some water as I go. But I know in the back of my mind, I've done 18 miles without this, right? So it, on race day, it's almost like this is just bonus, right? It's almost like I got free energy in the bag that I know I can use. Um, and it, it kind of makes that a little bit more of a, a um, little bit more of a, I, I don't know, fun occasion when I get to the race. All right. Uh, the last few days before race day, um, again, I'm really trying not to eat junk food, right? They say you want to carb load, right? You want to eat some carbohydrates probably to fill up your muscles the day or two before the race. Great. But I, I, I'm not going to go and eat like, you know, a half a plate of cookies or something, right? Like, I mean, there's carbohydrates there, but it's not the right kind, right? Eat good quality food. The other thing I'd say is get good sleep. People don't talk about it much, but um, I try to get nine hours of sleep the last few days before the marathon. And I don't know if it's just in my mind or if it's actually helping me out there, but boy, I feel good race day, right? When I'm, when I've got some good sleep, especially if the day before the race, you don't sleep well because you're nervous, you've stockpiled some sleep the last days before, right? So that's, that's huge race morning. I eat a pretty good breakfast, not huge, not like a giant omelet or something, but I'll have some oatmeal. I'll have maybe a bagel with some peanut butter. I'll have a banana, maybe right before the race starts, you know, 20 minutes out. I'll have um, a goo or a, a bar or something easy that can go down. Again, hydrating well, um, kind of filling up those nutrition stores all the way in. Um, and then you just you start running and you feel your body as you go. And you try to uh, take that nutrition as you can uh, during the race and hold it all together.